<laughs> hey everybody, welcome to Under Review. It's your girl Nash, and I'm joined by the one and only You Go Boy. It's been a while. The yes, biggest Nash. cowboy fan in the world. <laughs> 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 Woo! I know things look a little different for everybody that's been rocking with us for a little bit. Um, I know you guys are like, Nash, you where you been? <laughs> work okay <laughs> <laughs> no days off <laughs> no days off the no WNBA off. the NBA has been kicking my ass but I miss you guys so much and I gotta get back to, to just what we do what we do now you know week two mm -hmm. insane but mm -hmm. you go boy before we jump in what you been up to Oh my goodness! I've been I've been work. I've missed Mister No Days Off. I'm, I'm bringing that back. Uh, you can't be no worse than me. <laughs> I've, uh, trust me. We, that, that's why we're probably we're the same, right? <laughs> it's, it's about the same. It's about the same. It's about the same. So, um, so uh, Harlem Wizards. Uh, I was uh, I did the summer tour. So uh, we did all up and down the East Coast for pretty much all of July and August. Um, about to kick off reg. Uh, we have training pre-training camp and training camp that kicks off tomorrow okay. so we're about to get right back to it i was able to escape for a quick week i went to columbia on vacation that was everything everything i love everything. that for you oh I man love that for you. it was, it was you didn't even bring your girl nothing back that's crazy that's <laughs> crazy, crazy. Uh, i brought some pure white hennessy we will take we'll do we'll, we'll take a shot Yo, Next people love they, they pure white. Yo, they love their it's, pure it's, white. It's tradition. It's tradition. Whenever I go to any Latin, Spanish-speaking country, I got to bring back a bottle of the good the stuff. The Hennessy. The pure white. Pure Blanco. <laughs> That's crazy. So, so, yeah. So, yeah. Just Wizards. And, of course, my show, too. You Go Boy Podcast. We're pretty much switching to exclusively sports talk all football season long. Uh, we did the NFL preview show with Chop Sports Media and my main man, Mongo, my right-hand man. He's on the hat. <laughs> and uh, so we'll be shooting uh, episode 53, Sports Talk, this Friday at Bravery Studios. So uh, nice. excited. The show's, the show's doing well. The show's thriving. One of my clips went viral um, on Instagram. Uh, nice. I did, it was, of course, it was a Dak Prescott clip. <laughs> it, it, uh, it, it's had a Okay, yeah. Everybody is. I am too. I'm a fan. Six hundred eighty thousand uh, views for that one clip, and you know the show. The show's doing really well, man. So I, I got no complaints, man. Just just continue to build, and uh, keeping up that keeping that same energy all season. That's awesome. All right, week two is not what anybody expected, right? Let's just jump right in. Um, yep. I don't know for anybody else, but I know my picks week two were a hot ass mess. Things that people thought were trash, right, or weren't good, <laughs> yeah, proved us wrong. If this is what the NFL is going to give us for the next 16, because what is it, 17 or 18 games this season, whatever. <laughs> yeah, 18 weeks, 17 games. <laughs> yeah, so if this is what the NFL is going to give us for the next 15 weeks, baby, I'm all for it because right. I like that it's literally any given Sunday. And for me... I really think, well, for now, only two weeks in, right? I think the the only teams I think that don't have a shot and suck are the Panthers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, rightfully so. Yeah. And <laughs> I don't know what's up with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Um, listen, they 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 paid their quarterback, and um, they had no choice. It was that it was the market is what dictates it. But again, what you what you're seeing with Jacksonville is a it's a coaching issue as well i mean doug peterson i don't i don't think he's uh getting the best out of that roster um that I don't roster think, is too talented it's, it's too way, talented. way okay. too talented it's to be like, too. Way, yeah and, and again uh lawrence i don't think he's i don't think he's a bad quarterback um i think he's above average to solid that that's what I've been saying ever since he came to came onto the scene. I never saw they basically <laughs> what CJ Stroud is now is what the media is trying to convince you that that Trevor Lawrence is. is. But you know me, I'm not a I'm not I'm probably one of the few people that when it's generational talent and generational right. quarterback coming word? out of college, I'm just like mm, 
I gotta see it. I want to see it to believe it because the NFL is a to totally different beast. Like Caleb Williams, forever overhyped, mm -hmm. like great okay. college player. Oh yeah. oh yeah. But the way people, I'm not gonna say we because I ain't part of the we this time. But the way he's been overhyped during preseason and training camp, I'm just like, mm, let's see when game one starts and the season starts and you're reading defenses in real time and you're trying to go through your motions and yeah, no, yeah. no. No, the, the the generational word we we throw that around all the time on my show. We we put like the X Files music behind it. Generational. Yeah. So we're just like, nah, nah, man. I I gotta see it. I gotta see it. Like just because Dan Orlovsky says you're the best quarterback since. <laughs> Don't talk about my boy. <laughs> Big clown, big bozo energy right there. Big wow, don't do that. Sorry, yeah. Dan, that's not me. No, no, it, it's definitely me. Uh, so, so yeah, yeah, like, nah, just because you get the generational moniker from talking heads from the four letter networks and three letter networks, it doesn't mean that you're you're him. Like, I gotta see it, I got, I got, I gotta see it. And with Trevor Lawrence, I gotta see it. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't see it yet. It, it might it might pop up from a, a couple years from now, but I don't see it right now. And he's not good enough to to carry again the subpar coaching that they're getting either in Jacksonville, which is why they're zero two. Yeah, that's it's terrible. And the the season can go by very fast. Zero mm -hmm. two can look very scary um, by week four. Mm -hmm. So I think Jacksonville needs to panic. To your point, I think coaching matters coordinators matter mm -hmm. schemes matter mm -hmm. facts all it facts. has to be a perfect storm like i'm a big believer you know i've been saying this for years like sam darnold for ex example yeah. prime example prime example i think the jets ruined him right oh yeah. when sam darnold came on the scene he showed flashes but we never mm -hmm. really got to see him then he mm -hmm. was in a situation he was like okay all right now he's in a I think his best situation because you got the quarterback whisperer, mm -hmm. right? And Kevin O'Connell. O'Connell, O'Connell, yep, yep. Brian Flores is a damn monster. I don't know why I didn't pick the 49ers to lose against the Vikings because the Vikings have beat the 49ers in yeah, Minnesota like every year. time they play. But <laughs> that's neither here nor there. I digress. But like, <laughs> game matters. Quarterbacks matter, right? You know, I get on Baker or I, I have. I've not been a fan of Baker Mayfield. Yeah, Four years. You know, you know, I've called him mediocre, et cetera, mm -hmm. et cetera. But who he's with, he's thriving. That top thriving. Thriving, thriving. Thriving. Thriving in Tampa Bay. The way I'm just gonna get into Baker Mayfield in the in the damn <laughs> Buccaneers, right? Yeah. He's thriving in Tampa Bay. He um Oh my gosh. Even though the Lions defense shored up on what they needed last year, because they plugged in some holes. I don't know if Baker Mayfield was possessed in that game or what, but he looked like the Baker Mayfield I expected to see off rip, right? Mm -hmm. Composed. He was carving that defense up, eluding them. Even though Aiden Hutchinson had like a record four and a half sacks, right? Yeah. For um Detroit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm at a loss for words because I was just so shocked. Like, damn, Baker looks great. Yeah, in he, that he, look, he looks like he did it back at OU. You know, he looked like he's 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 playing with fire. He's playing with passion. He knows what he's doing. He knows where he wants to go with the football. It can, we keep saying it. Coaching matters. I mean, he's surrounded by. He's got weapons. I mean, the Bucks got weapons. Mike Evans, future Hall of Famer, doesn't get talked about. Yeah, Nobody talks about Mike. Exactly. He's, no he's that good. Nobody talks about him. Chris yeah. Godwin. Yep, Chris Godwin. He's, like, like Mike, Mike Evans gets the Keenan Allen treatment. A, a guy that's going to be a first ballot Hall of Famer. He got mm. all the best in the world, but you know he hasn't really been a part of winning teams like that aside from the, even but even with mike though mike's got a chip you know mike won championship right. with, with with tom well, brady, brady. Yeah. You, would, you would think he wouldn't get that treatment but he does very very underrated you know they, and uh kaiser white you know they, they they got weapon they got they got weapons over there in tampa and they almost beat the lions in the playoffs Everybody right they did that. and they yeah. have a coach yeah. they have a coach that that can scheme 
mm-hmm. that can the, so for the lions what i'm seeing is my issue right now even though it's only week two is clock management yeah saw that yeah. a little bit last week mm-hmm. saw that for week two slates um like jared golf spiking the ball to stop the clock but the field goal unit is like running out into the field with like a few seconds left like little things like that um I'm, I'm, I might cape for Baker Mayfield. Like, uh, Jared Goff had me believe in him a little bit because Jared Goff was another one. I'm like, no, mm-hmm. I don't trust him. He makes poor decisions. And he he started, he began to grow into his role, right, on the Lions. Another great situation. But my fear is that he goes back and reverts a little bit to that Jared Goff that that doesn't make the key plays when you when you need him to make those key plays. So that the Lions cannot do that. They no. cannot do that if they what? want to remain the juggernauts on the, of the NFC. Because for me, um, before the season started, my top three teams in the NFC were the Lions, the Eagles. But I don't know about that because look at how they were going yesterday. We don't get into that. that. We don't get into that. This is this month. Yeah. This yeah, the Lions, the Eagles, and the Packers. Were my were my top, and I think that division with the Lions, the Packers, the Vikings, and the Bears, that was one of my toughest divisions coming into the league. I mean, what's what's gonna what's what the issue with the Lions is the same issue they had last year, and it's their their issue is one of their biggest strengths. It's Dan Campbell. I call him Dan Gamble. You know, what I mean, like with with his uh, with his poor clock management. He's got a gambling problem, man. I mean, he, he he basically he himself single handedly cost him a, a trip to the Super Bowl with his. With, yeah, with, that, but that comes with an experience, and and yeah. for me, I I hope that moment lesson learned, and then you make better decisions moving forward because they were literally a play away from the Super Bowl. Literally, 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 literally. You kick a field goal, you go up three scores, they win the game. It's it, like I keep I keep going back to that. I'm not going to get off of that. He caught. He cost his team trip to the Super Bowl, and um, this year too. I understand it. that's that's what they do. They go for it on fourth down. They're aggressive. They play to win the game. Like like Herm Edwards say said, I I get all that. But again, it's it's there's a there's a difference between being aggressive and being reckless. I said that. But you have to know when to be aggressive. Yeah. yeah Sorry but, to but cut then, you off. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. But but again, that, that what you said right there that that just lends to to my point. When there's a time and a place, and and if you don't understand the difference between those two, being aggressive and being reckless, not knowing when to go for it, that's reckless. Not knowing when to pack it up and take the three points when you can go up three scores on the road, that's being reckless. Not clock yeah. management or whatnot. That's re- that's that's just mismanagement. So. He can't. Your head coach can't be the reason why you're in a position to win, as well as why you're at a detriment. Why you're in a position to lose as well. You it can't be both ways because you're you're not gonna you. It's not a sustainable business model. You're not gonna win big and win the critical games with that with that type of attitude. He has to he has to find a balance. He he has to find a balance, or else it's gonna cost them yet again. Let's transition to teams um, that have me a little perplexed. Um, I was getting the spiked. Ravens, the Ravens being the top on my list. Do, do they have an identity crisis? I don't believe the Ravens have been 0-2 since 2015 with John Harbaugh. The defense gave up 10 points. Fourth quarter lead. Mm-hmm. I don't know how you let and that, that, let's not um no disrespect to the Raiders, right? Mm-hmm. They have a good coach over there. I'm looking up. Next thing I know, the game is tied 23-23. So <laughs> we gotta talk about the defense, right? Mm-hmm. Right now, the Ravens, the offense is is stuck in neutral. Yeah. Yeah. They don't know. What they're doing with King Henry, he's not looking very <laughs> royal right now. No. Like they're not giving him to run the ball. Again, the Ravens are another team. Offensive weapons galore, galore. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. what's happening with them? They have an they have an identity crisis right now. 
I mean, they're at their best when they can run the football because that that allows uh, Lamar to to thrive, to be his best ver- the best version of himself. And and the weapons thing like miss me with that. Like I get into arguments all the time that you know what does Lamar have? Listen, Bateman he was has a- weapons. You have two tight ends. You have two very good tight ends. Do we forget that? They Flowers was a first that? rounder. They, they, they flowers. flowers can burn you. Bateman was a first rounder. Come on, man. King Henry, you got you like five of the running backs. Come on, bro. I'm not. And I know their that. line is revamped, right? So mm-hmm. I, I'm like, I want to give them time to kind of figure out that line situation, um, and then maybe they can figure out what they're doing, but. You can't have Derrick Henry and not utilize him properly. Yes, Lamar is going to scramble. He's going to open up with the run game, give us some RPOs. We get that. Lamar is going to be great. But, yeah, no. Not in a division where you have the Bengals, the Steelers, the Browns. I don't know which way. I don't know if they're going to suck one week or not. Like, you (laughs) (laughs) you cannot be 0-2 starting off. Well, for me, the Ravens are concerned, which I'm going to contradict myself because the Bengals, they – start off on to like that's their mo yeah, so i'm not worried what, about them do. Is that but what the do. ravens are giving me cause for concern yeah yeah and um you know the, it, like if they don't get back to what they do and that's running the football it, it's the run game the run game it it, it like I, I get it lamar wants to be more he, he has definitely improved as a passer each and every year he's improved as a as a pocket passer uh but again, that's never going to be his pure his his bread and butter. His bread and butter is everything off of the run. That's that that that's his mo. Even even back to freaking Louisville in college. I was to say because Lamar was throwing he was throwing them dimes in the pocket in Louisville. Like he can throw. He so he, Absolutely, he, it's it's not it's not what he leads with though. That's 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 my main point. It's not when you get off the bus, you're like yo. We need Lamar to throw for four hundred today, or three fifty today, or basically be be Patty, or or be be Joe Burrow. You see what I'm saying? Like th- that's not what. No, you you it, it, you know he's gonna make his throws again. He's improved every year, but the run game is the bread and butter. And look at every time they've lost in the playoffs, especially at home as the one seed. The run game was not the focal point. Go back to that I Chiefs. Mean, game. To be and, fair, to be fair though, I don't know what it is about Lamar when he plays the Chiefs. Just like I don't know what it is about the Chiefs when they play the Bengals, yeah. but Patrick Mahomes lives rent free in Lamar's head when they right. play the Chiefs because yeah, they'll play mm. perfect or really well, and mm. then it's the smallest little mistake at the last couple of seconds or minute mm-hmm. that a cost him the game when he plays Patrick Mahomes. I don't know what it is. Like Yeah. Well, you got you you got to couple that with Steve Spagnola and his defensive scheme. He knows how to scheme against Lamar. And what he does is what every team that beats the Ravens do. They choke that run game out or and then they they basically make they make him basically throw left-handed. Like, okay, we're going to make you do all the throws that you struggle with. You struggle with out routes, that's all you're getting. You struggle right. with timing routes, that's all you're getting. You're not going to be able to get play action, bootleg, sit in the pocket, and just bing, bing, bing to shorten intermediate to Bateman to Zay Flowers on time. We're going to make you do everything that you, you don't do well. And, and, again, when you don't run the football effectively, which is what they need to do. But they, they need to because they're they not. They and do. I'm pissed because I have Derrick Henry on my fantasy team. I didn't draft him for that reason. And I'm about to sit his ass down. (laughs) (laughs) down. All right. (laughs) Start him this week, Gizdow. Start him this week. He's going to get touches. Listen, (laughs) we got to get to that too. So let's talk about Chiefs, right? You bring up Spags, defense. The Chiefs right now, Mm -hmm. do they need to worry? And when I mean worry, I don't mean panic Mm -hmm. because the Chiefs are the Chiefs. Let's be real. You have 15. You have Andy Reid. The Chiefs are giving me, and you know I've been saying this for like the past two seasons, they're getting kind of patriot, like in terms of 
how they make their moves and their plays, right? Now we have speed back on the Chiefs because maybe like a year or two ago, we would say, well, Patrick Mahomes has no weapons versus weapons. It's a whole bunch of like B minus and C level receivers that are coming in, whatever. They have weapons now, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. yeah. We have speed back. We have the speed back, but we have so many injuries in week two across the board in a league but mm -hmm. marquise brown i think is i believe and somebody fact check me maybe out for the season right i think that was regular, reported regular season oh. and has a chance yeah. to come back in january if in like january player. okay so that's that's good mm -hmm. we have isaiah pacheco who is confirmed to be done on ir is going yeah. to get surgery yeah. um i believe they're going to host kareem hunt yep yep yes they are I hope, Kareem, I, I hope also, Kareem Hunt yeah. says no, but I know he won't. He has, he has to get a ring, so he I know, I know, I win. know. Um, which, if they sign Kareem Hunt, I mean, he's familiar with that scheme. He was their premier back before Isaiah Pacheco. Um, I'm, I'm just curious. I don't think, because my first thought was Isaiah Pacheco is like the grit of that team. Oh, yeah, he gives oh, yeah. them a toughness that they don't have. Mm -hmm. um, Travis Kelsey, I'm looking at Travis Kelsey now as a Gronkish, right? Like yeah. they, they may not use him in the beginning of the season, but I know for a fact oh, yeah. he's going to pop out on those games and we're going to be like, oh, shit, there yeah. goes Travis Kelsey. Yeah, I see yeah. him more in a blocking role right now. Um, who's the young dude that flies past everybody? The new guy. Oh my gosh, I'm oh, worthy. worthy, worthy, worthy. That's the guy they gra drafted yeah. from Texas. Yeah, that, my that boy, boy, nice. That boy, that boy, fast, fast. He fast. He's fast, fast. He's yeah. fast as hell. Mm -hmm. I don't see him right now. He's just a straight down the line speedster. So mm -hmm. I think once defenses recognize that, put some hands on him, he'll be very easily negated out of the equation yeah. so i don't know i think right now kansas city again not worried um not panicking i should say but i think they a little doubt they should be you know trying to figure it out a little bit because again i picked the the Bengals to win the yeah. Bengals lost because of situational football let's be honest here that pi cost them the game but yeah, yeah. for some yeah. reason yeah. the Bengals ain't scared of the chiefs the They're chiefs the Chiefs know that, and the Bengals give the Chiefs a run for their money. But I'm noticing two weeks now, the Chiefs have squeaked it out. So I don't see them as a juggernaut, per se, mm -hmm. like how everybody's crowning them. They're still winning, and that's what champs do, right? You find a way mm -hmm. to win. Yeah. But them just the repeating automatically, mm, no. I don't you, see that. You're not booking that. I mean, again, like you can't really make – Teams don't really declare themselves till after Thanksgiving. Like that's really when the real football starts. They've they've been they've been declared it. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm saying is what, what what the Chiefs are going to be this year. Um, like they're they're still figuring the kinks out. And again, with um rice and the schedule isn't favorable either. It's not it's super. Not. They, got a, they got a first place schedule. Like first place mm -hmm. teams get first place schedules. Like this, mm -hmm. the, the, the NFL is very consistent with that. Um, what, what I'm saying is. Uh, Rice is their number one receiver. Uh, luckily, he's not going to get. It doesn't look like he's going to get. He should be suspended for the foolishness during the off season. Yeah, yeah, they're probably going to do it off season. Yeah, yeah, he'll probably get a fine and you know some some discipline. I mean, uh, outside of you know missing games, um, so they're mm -hmm. lucky. They're lucky in that sense. Um, it, it, it that connection is, is going to be everything. Because again, the, the Chiefs don't really need. They don't. They don't need the run game. It's it's good to have. To stabilize right. and to, and to win tough gritty games on the road, but and we've you know, seen this history we, has showed us this. Mm -hmm. yeah, we've seen this, and again, Patty's won with Kadarius Tony being and Juju Smith Schuster being like his top receivers. You know, what I mean, he, he does, like it's it's still Patty's world and whatnot. Like they're gonna be they're gonna go as far as their main stars, Patty, Chris Jones, wow, Kelsey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they're gonna go as as they go, and um, you know. I'm with you though. I'm not penciling in, them in for the three peat. They absolutely need the home field. It, they they it, like they didn't need it last year. I believe this this third this third time around. I believe they they're gonna need the home field because if they which, end up which, 
they can do because they just yeah. beat two AFC juggernauts, right? So they did. They did. They those did. two losses. If 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 they, if they end up in the playoffs, having to go to Burroughs' crib, I'm taking the Bengals. I really am. Like I, I, I know I you're tell not. You something? I I'm take the Bengals cool. every time. I trust Joe Shiesty to beat the Chiefs as much as doing. I as much as I trust Tom Brady. Tom Brady to beat anybody. You know I'm a Patriots fan. I trust yeah, Brady. Course, I don't course, care who course. Brady playing against. That so everybody was killing me. Like oh, because week one the Bengals looked deplorable, right? We have oh, Joe Burrow with the with the hand issue, you got Jamar Chase pissed off about his contract. They're mm-hmm. very thin in certain positions. They have defenders going down every other play. It, like they look crazy. Out. Yeah. yeah. And I'm yeah. like, no, I'm picking, I'm picking the Bengals. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> picking the Bengals. I don't know. I trust Joe Shiesty to beat Patrick Mahomes on any given day. Joe. Say what Joe- you want. Joe Shiesty, I like that name. Joe Shiesty is the only one that we've seen from that crop of the top guys in the AFC that's beaten Patty in the playoffs. And not only did he beat Patty in the playoffs, he beat Patty at Arrowhead. So he, like, Joe is not afraid. And on top of that, Joe outplayed him in this game as well. Now, I mean, the Bengals had this game won, if not for that questionable call. Yeah, for that and, questionable. And, well, and 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 the turn the turnover, the turnover yeah. hurt them too. That came mm-hmm. like you can't give you can't give up scooping scores on the road, bro. You can't. Yeah, you can't. Like everybody Listen, keeps walking over that. So yeah, Joe Burrow is in my top quarterbacks when he's healthy. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. Yeah, yes, the Bengals start off slow. I know he's only been in the league but like four years. Five? Yeah, about four or five years. Yeah, so. Yeah. I know it's half and half. When he's healthy, they're going far. When he's yeah. not healthy, that's cause for concern. I've liked yeah. Joe Burrow since day one. He's given me poise, cool, calm, and collected. Like, he's been here before. I said it once. I'll say it until I'm blue in the face. He reminds me of Tom Brady, and not the way he plays, not the way he – but just the way he's – cool, calm, and collected at all times in the pocket, doesn't flinch, and it doesn't matter who the hell he's playing against. Facts. He just Absolutely. has that. Absolutely. That's what And it is what it is. And again, of all the top, like Allen hasn't beaten Joe in the playoffs. I mean, be, hasn't beaten uh, Patty in the playoffs. Lamar hasn't beaten Patty in the playoffs. CJ Stroud hasn't beaten Patty in the playoffs. None of the top AFC teams have beaten Patty in the playoffs. And I mean, and the, the only two quarterbacks that I know, not I think, I know are not going to be afraid of the moment and can go into Arrowhead and, and win a playoff game, whether it's the AFC Championship or Divisional Round game, it's Joe and it's Aaron Rodgers. Those are the only two. Those are the only two. Aaron Rodgers? Oh, I, no. I trust Aaron. I tr- I know what you're saying. I'm out of here. I, I'm, I, if I had to pick two, if I had to pick two, if I had to, like, yo, gun, gun to the head. I, you can only pick two to knock these guys off and do it. I'm picking Joe. And I'm Aaron Rodgers win. Aaron Rodgers now? Yes, yes. With the Jets? Yes, yes, yes. Are oh, we talking about the Jets a few weeks down the line when they when they have it figured out, right? Not the Jets right now. If the, if the, if the Jets stay healthy, because that's a that's – a, health is – Health is a big question for everybody, but it's definitely for for my man that's pushing. For okay, just stay healthy. The just stay healthy. No, no catastrophic injury. Just play out their schedule, which, by the way, is not a first place schedule. Is you know yeah, what I mean? They, got, they have a little cushy, yeah. They, okay, they got a cushion. They got a cushion. And Aaron Rodgers, like, is 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 the Aaron is is still that bad man as Stephen A. Smith calls him or whatnot. Absolutely, they can go in the Arrowhead with the run game. Because all you you need two big you need three things you need a quarterback that's not afraid of the moment okay. you, need a de- you need a defense and you need a run game. Which, where they defense at? That's that's what I, that's what I was waiting for you to bring the D word out. That defense, I mean, granted against the Titans, granted it was against the Titans, but that defense showed up last week. It did. You got to give them props. I know I'm caping for the Jets, which which that wasn't on the bingo I need, card. I need to see. I need to see again. I'm yeah. not. I'm not throwing the Jets out the window. The first week they looked deplorable. The oh, defense, like they look crazy. Okay, yeah. but. I, I am giving them the benefit of the doubt because Aaron hasn't been on the field since 2022, right? right? They right. got to figure it out. 
to me, this is why preseason matters or OTAs yeah. matter. Get with mm-hmm. your team, get right, because the first two, three weeks is preseason in real time for a lot of teams. I get that. But I need Nathaniel Hackett to 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 actually give us some game plans that don't look like my son's Pop Warner team when he played facts. 10 years ago. No, facts, facts, facts. It's valid. No, it's 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 valid. It's valid. Because Man. Spags will tear that, tear that offense up. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I agree. I agree. Again, what what I'm saying is with the Jets is, you know, every piece that they made, that they acquired during the offseason. They look good on paper. Was was an upgrade. And but health, health is going to be everything. Health is wealth, a billion percent for them. And again, you you, like it. If you're asking me what two quarterbacks that I trust to actually beat, knock these guys off. I don't trust Baltimore to do it. I right. don't trust Josh Allen to do it. I definitely don't trust Tua. Tua might not even be playing the, again this season. You know what I mean? Like, I, th- there's only two Q- QBs I trust to do it. It's Joe Shiesty, who's done it before, mm-hmm. and Aaron Rodgers, who he's got a ring too. Or it was a, it was a, it was a minute ago with Mike McCarthy, my guy. But I yeah, mean, it's hard to get more than one. It's hard to get one. Hard to it's get even one. harder to get more than one in the <laughs> NFL. <laughs> Drew Let's Brees not let the Tom good. Brady's and the and the Peyton Manning's and the, and the Patrick Drew Mahomes. Got Drew Brees got one. It's it's hard to get. Yeah, it's hard. hard it's very hard. It's hard to come by, man. This isn't Madden where well, you win it every year. It's not Madden. This is real life. It's hard to win Super Bowls. So, but yeah, I stand by that. I really do. Injuries, notable injuries. So we have Debo Samuel out. It's only week two. It's like so crazy for a couple weeks. We have Jawan Bentley done for the season. Good mm-hmm. things the Patriots are a little – they have depth on defense, right? McCaffrey, Christian McCaffrey, like yeah, what is yeah. happening here? Cooper Cup several weeks. Puka Nakua maybe four to six weeks. We talked about Isaiah Pacheco. We talked about Hollywood Brown. Um, we have, well, the Tua issue. I believe Tua is going to come back when – it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. Great, um, great. He has to go through his processes. He has to make the decision for himself. Mm -hmm. Um, When I first saw that, my automatic instinct was he needs to shut it down. But then I also processed that it's hard to tell a grown man or a grown person who loves what they do that they can't do it anymore, especially if they still feel like they can. Mm -hmm. Um, Not all concussions are the same. Minor concussions, major concussions, it affects everybody differently. Um, How does that look for him contractually, right? He gets shut down now as opposed to shut down later. Um, so that's a whole different beast within itself. I know the Dolphins just picked up Tyler Huntley. I was joking around kind of not really and was like, well, the way um, Justin Fields is playing for the Steelers, shit, do the, do the Dolphins go and try to make a sneak play for Russell Wilson? Like, yeah. Loki? like, Whatever, I, but I want them to call us up and they could take Trey Lance. They could take here him. Here we right go. Right. No, Trey Lance is. They could take okay. him right now. They could take we'll him. Leave, right we'll now. leave that alone. I don't <laughs> want to push trash, but we'll leave that alone. Then take you got right. Jermaine Johnson on the on the Jets, who is done yeah. for the season. Big yeah, yeah. Vita Vea is big, but he's day to day with an mm. MCL, so you know how that goes. Um, they probably won't shut him down as of yet. See if they can get him going. But injuries, man, injuries, injuries. The Rams yeah. panic. Okay, if I was the Rams, I'd panic right now. Yeah, yeah, and again, it's crazy because like so many of these guys don't play during the preseason. Like the Rams play their guys. The Rams play their guys during the preseason. A lot of team, uh, but for the majority of guys still don't play in the preseason. And 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 they, and again, so but it's the NFL. You know, these injuries. It, this isn't nothing new. I mean, if anything, injuries could go up each and every year because yeah. the physicality of the game goes up. So many year. big names in two weeks span. That's a yeah. lot. And you mentioned, you mentioned Debo and you mentioned McCaffrey and you got to touch on that because we're going to see a lot about Brock Purdy and Kyle in, in the coming weeks, because I said, I've said this on my show. I have not gotten away from it. I have not gotten away from it. When Brock Purdy does not have all his Avengers assembled. <laughs> Yeah. Man's looks different. Man's looks like Iowa State. Man's looks like Iowa State. And, and listen. And, and again, he he's, he doesn't have CMC 
for like the next two or three weeks. He's gonna send. He's gonna use that all that time on the IR because an Achilles is nothing to mess with. And now you're not gonna have Debo. And we saw last year when Debo was out, they had their three game losing streak. They didn't win a game for a month because they had their bye week too. We're gonna see what this offense looks like without two of the Avengers. And if and if Brock Purdy looks scary like Iowa State Brock Purdy, like again. I, I'm gonna I be. Just, I just find it so hard because when it comes, the Niners always, not always, but nine times out of ten have injury issues. Right. The mm-hmm. only thing that's been, uh, 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 I guess a plus for them is that, well, defensively they had depth. Right. They've mm-hmm. always had a little depth when it comes to being injured, but. I don't know. This is tough. Like you said, all those pieces on offense. I have to look at their schedule again, but it's ugh, it's a little tough. And I'm not one of those people that I'm not with you with the Brock Purdy thing. I kind of I'm, I'm I'm in the I middle because I, I, I think he's I think he's good despite <laughs> I think he's good despite. But because I haven't had a sample size to show me that he's not right. So and I know we're bringing up college, but in the NFL, he thrived. But then. To me, the 49ers are also a plug and play team. Like you could throw my ass in that running back. <laughs> I might get you 20 yards. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, look, I think they're really they've showed us that time and time again, they are a plug and play team. Yeah. I mean, but but again, I just go off, I go off of the numbers and I go off of I go off of like the stats, I go off, off of facts. Like again, when they're missing some of their guys, I'm not he's not trash. He's not a bad quarterback. No, I, I don't I, think he's trash. He's not. He's not. Like my my brother thinks he my brother calls him Brock Montana. He thinks he's he's the second guy. Okay. That's like not, he's good, but let's everybody comes with temper expectations here. Heavy rock eye roll. It's giving eye roll. That's what it's giving. Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, like, no, no, bro. But what I, what I'm saying is we're going to see. We're going to see if he's still lighting it up. They don't miss a beat. They're still putting up points. They're still winning games. What you'll see that that'll let me know that okay, Purdy's taking another step. Kyle trusts him more. Kyle understands that okay, I can give him more responsibilities because this has been brought. Let me let me break this down. This has been Brock Purdy since he's been named starter. Kyle sends him to the line with one play, maybe two. That's it. And it's like, all right, do that. Don't mess up my offense. All the top guys, all the top guys, okay. Joe, Joe, Aaron Rodgers, Josh Allen, Dak Prescott, all, all the top guys that are getting, especially the top paid guys or whatnot, they get sent to the line with three or four plays. All right, make it happen. Get me out of a bad play. Get me into a better play. You know what I mean? Run the offense. Get busy. Brock Purdy has never had that. No, that's 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 been my thing since he's gotten to the scene. Kyle is calling the show. Here are my two plays. Don't screw it up. You got all your Avengers. Don't screw it up. He's now and every single time he has it, I, I, I keep saying that. Go look at last year. Every time he's been missing one, let alone two, one of those guys, it's looked spooky. And now for the next three to four weeks, he's not going to have Debo. He's not going to have McCaffrey. Let me see how it looks. I just want to see how it looks. I'm not saying it's going to look bad. I'm not going to say. I'm no, not. I'm with you. I want. I want to see. I, I want to see I, how I, it looks too. I got to see it because Brian Flores had him in a. He he had him seeing ghosts like Sam Darnold with the Jets. I mean, and, but it's, it's it's Brian Flores though. Like like B flow. He gonna he gonna he gonna make it do what it do. He's one yeah. of the he's one of the greater uh, defensive minds. Like he it is. What it coach, is. By the way, he needs he needs a head coaching job asap. I, all right, one last thing before we get up out of here. I know everybody is hopping on the Saints bandwagon. I will not as of now. Not, yes, they not. look like the best team in the NFL right now in the first two weeks, but I will not as of now, nice. right? Um, nice. Only because I've seen this movie before. I just need. I just want to see the Saints as the season goes on. Um, mm-hmm. The Cowboys, though, yes, they came out week one swinging. They got the ass whooped week two. But even though they whooped ass in week one, I I said automatically I don't think it's sustainable due to due to the fact of um the way they did the contracts this year, I think they waited a little too long. I think they should have handled that 
way before the season. So that way you have more money to um, make more moves, especially defensively, because mm -hmm. I don't think, um, I think you guys are pretty thin yeah. defensively. I agree. Um, I agree. I, agree. I, I just don't know. I, I think the Cowboys are the Cowboys. Um, I have to see it to believe it. And the one time I did believe it, they fell flat on their face. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I don't know. The Cowboys are an enigma to me right now at this moment. It's only week two. I just need to see. I, I just, I don't see it this year. I, I don't see it. I don't think they're going to be terrible. Don't get me wrong. But yeah. I don't think they're coming out as juggernauts on top. I think what we saw the first two weeks is going to be what we're going to see throughout the season. Like they're going to look like a, a force to be reckoned with at times. And at times they're going to look like what the hell happened. My concern for them is the defense. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this week is going to tell a lot. I, mean, I know it's only week three. I know the Ravens are like fighting for their life, like Robert Kelly right now for their season. Like I, I get all that. Fighting but, for my life right now. Yeah, fighting for my life right now. <laughs> um, but this week is gonna tell me everything I need to know about us thus far. Again, you don't I don't really make my decision, my 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 uh, determination until right. post Thanksgiving. But what I'm saying is for them to get punked the way they did, because they got punked, they don't they didn't just get beat. And anybody that's from the Kyle Shanahan tree, it's like hide the women, hide the children. Hide your kids, coming for your ass, right? Yeah, right. I mean, like, like straight uh, Dobson, whatever. Like they killing everybody. They shooting. They say they eating everybody. So, a, a, as soon as I found out, because I didn't know that uh, Kubiak, Clint Kubiak, was from the Shanahan tree. Mm -hmm. We said that mm -hmm. I was watching three game shows, and they were just like, "Yeah, he's from the Shanahan tree." I was like, mm -hmm. "This is gonna be a long day. This is gonna mm -hmm. be a long day." Because, and and and, and it, and again, the the main reason why the Cowboys hired Mike Zimmer, Mike Zimmer, similar to Flores. He thrives against the Shanahan tree. That's that's a big reason why he got the job. They're like, yo. But you know who thrives against Mike Zimmer? Who? Calvin Kamara. <laughs> he thrives yeah. against he thrives against that man. Okay. They, they, run they them, run them games no when he played against Mike Zimmer's defense. Oh my God. They had no answers. They had Kamara looking like freaking Bo, Bo Jackson out there, bro. Like like four or five years ago, Kamara. Like they, they scored touchdowns. They still got on their, it. On their, on their still first, got it. On their first he's five possessions, the Nash, they scored touchdowns on their first five possessions. It looked like the Green Bay game. You know, Aaron Jones is still running in Dallas. Just like CJ <laughs> Anderson is still running in LA from that playoff game. And Alvin Kamara is still running in Dallas, like like Forrest Gump. You know what I mean? I think I'm, I'm tired. I think I want to go home now. Like that, like that's that's what's going that on. So I, I agree with you. Like the, the 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 folk and again I I know ball which is why we why we why we here what not why we here with it that's a fact the, the focus the focus is not on Dak the focus is not on C D Lamb they both got paid they're not going right. anywhere the right. focus is not going to be on Micah he's about to get his bag in the off season the mm -hmm. focus is not on the players the focus is going to be on Mike McCarthy he doesn't have a contract next year Mike Zimmer he doesn't have a contract next year. And I don't think the front office, I don't want to say they set the team up for failure. They could have been mm -hmm. better. What mm -hmm. the, the way they're going to look at it is like, yo, we made, we gave you Gilmore last year. We gave you Cooks last year. We gave you a bunch of moves last year. You gave you the and two you seed. Yep. And, and, and again, you played, this has been my issue with Mike McCarthy his entire tenure. Dallas plays their worst, worst game of the season in the playoffs. Worst game, hands down. Both games against San Francisco, last year against Green Bay, and that can't happen again. Because again, I, I believe they're a playoff team. We got, we got NFC, to the but, you know what I'm saying? But, but again, but that, that ties into my point with this week right here. You just right. got pumped by the Saints at, at, in your building. You know right. the Ravens are coming off the bus. They're going to run the ball like 50 times. Mm -hmm. They're going to be like, listen, you're going to have to show us that you can stop the run because we need, we need to get back to our identity. Like Derrick Henry, you better start him this week because he's going to get 40 carries this week. He if, they, if they get punked again in back-to-back -back games at home, that's going to tell me everything I need to know thus far. That's going to show me that, Mike, you don't have this team ready to go 
at home yet again against a playoff opponent. And you can't convince me that you're going to keep your job. You know what I mean? Bill Belichick is Bill Belichick is waiting. He's and I hope he doesn't. I hope he doesn't. And that's no disrespect to the Cowboys. Bill Belichick, I know he had me perplexed as a fan of the Patriots and of him. I think he's the greatest coach of all time. Um, he had me perplexed like his last two seasons. I think that I think time just ran its course. He's still very much intelligent. He's probably the greatest football mind alive. Right, okay, right okay. now, like there's no if ands or buts about it. Um, I think Belichick needs to go to a team where he's set up for success because he has nothing else to prove. And no disrespect to the Cowboys, I do not think the Cowboys are a good fit for him because Jerry is too involved, way too involved. Well, well, and I know, and I know it sounds good that Bill is like, oh, I'll take a vaccine a little bit. I'll just focus on coaching. I don't think the man could do it. Okay, I think the man has to take rain on his team and from a talent perspective oh yeah cowboys got the talent offensively and bill belichick going to get the pieces on defense to get the cowboys right i don't think for his legacy i think he needs to leave y'all no i i I think i think it's a match made in heaven i really do i've been saying that for years you know and 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 again like no it's not not with jerry jones as Jerry Jones be dancing in the videos, okay? He needs to sit down. <laughs> Death Row Records, not Shug Knight, not the social. He's dancing in the videos. Sit down. Nah, Focus nah. on the team. Micah Parsons, I love Micah. And I oh. love that you're doing a podcast. But why are you doing a podcast talking about some all 11 men weren't in it? And then you got Mike Zimmer saying, oh, no, it's not that 11 men weren't in it. It's just like stuff like that I don't like. I, no, that's the, it's, it's only week two. We can't so, be doing this in week two. It's only week two. It's da- it's Dallas. This it's the big top circus, yeah, man. Yeah, we trying to be. We can't be shiny toys, baby. We gotta lock in. We gotta focus. No, and that's no. why your asses don't be winning. Again, this is why I want Bill. I want Bill because what Bill's gonna do. The Shut first thing, you know, you know, first thing Bill's gonna do, he's gonna hire somebody from the Shanahan tree to run his offense. <laughs> That's the first thing he's gonna do, and then he's gonna get that defense right. You know what I mean? It's a match made in heaven. I now, but me personally, all jokes aside, I'm trolling. All jokes aside, I don't want to fire Mike McCarthy. Like I've been wanting sustained regular season success forever. We never got that with Jason Garrett. There's a reason why Jason Garrett is in the booth covering games for NBC for the rest of his relax, life. There's, relax. A, there's a reason. There's a reason. But again, reason. I think that's Jerry. I think that's no, big no, Jerry. No, no, no. It's the job. I, I got to disagree. I got to push back. It's okay. the job. It's the job of the head coach to get the absolute best out of those players. You know what I mean? Just because your owner talks from time to time and gets, gets on and wants to be all up in the videos or whatnot. That's not making the players play their worst game of the season. In oh, can the I ask you a question? It's not, it's not happening. That's can I ask you a question? Because I'm going to give you a pushback. Okay, go ahead. Go Who's ahead. the last coach under Jerry Jones' regime that had the players right in sight? Jimmy Johnson. And you know why? Because Jim Johnson wasn't fucking listening to what Jerry Jones had to say, okay? He was like, Jerry, you could do your little thing over here, but this is my locker room, and I'm going to do my thing. And that's right why here. I work. My shit right here. And Bill, Bill, Jim Bill Jones, won't be on that same time. He needs Bill to. Bill won't be on that same time. He needs to. <laughs> Bill, I, 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 needs trust, to. I trust Bill to be on that time. I trust Mike Vrabel to be on that time. They're going to be like, listen, you can, set, you can oh, have – Vrabel still available. Look, that's Vrabel's true. Still available. There's a reason why both those guys didn't take any jobs last year. They know this Dallas job very well could be – it could be open. It could be open. I'm I'm telling you, Dinesh, it very well could be open. I don't want it to be. I like Mike McCarthy. I like knowing yeah, that – Mike McCarthy, to your well. point, like Jason Garrett, it didn't work out because of that, Like, right? So we're going to agree and disagree at the same time, right? That's I'm with you. Cool. Because That's cool. That's how it ends. <laughs> Yes, agree to the point like those two, Jason Garrett and Mike McCarthy. Yeah, because they don't have what the Jim Johnson and the Bill Belichick have in the yeah. OK, Jerry, go go sit down over there. Let me do my thing like this my is really team. my team. Yeah, so, my yeah. Team. Yeah. But if Bill Belichick doesn't do that, it's going to be a repeat of what's happening. 
And I, that's why I don't want it to tarnish his legacy. Not saying that I don't think Bill Belichick can can be what he claims he's going to be, right? When he went on these job interviews, they're reporting that he said, oh, I'll just coach. No, Bill Belichick got a coach. He got to give you history lessons. He got to break it down. He has to take over. That's just his personality. It is what it is. So like if he comes in being that type of Bill Belichick, then, I, then I'm rocking with you. Yeah. But if he's trying to just to appease the people, even if it's for a few weeks or even if it's for the first year of his contract and tries to be somebody that he's not, then it's going to be a rinse and repeat of what we've been seeing the past few years. Then, Dinesh, all of this could be mitigated if Mike McCarthy gets the best <laughs> out of his players in the he tournament. Won't. He ain't. Exactly. He won't. That's all I'm saying. So, so he, so if it does happen, he's got nobody to blame for but, but himself. That's you a fact. Say, you know, the front office didn't give me what I, the front office gave you everything you wanted last year. And, and now you year, and now you stuck with what you got now. And now you gotta make you gotta make it work. You gotta make it work. This is year five. You can't keep your job five years in with one playoff win, bro. That's not how this works. That's not how it works. I need ROI. I need return on my investment or whatnot. So if if he does get the boot, which I hope he doesn't, because I like I like knowing that my team is going to the playoffs every year. I like that with Jerry with freaking Jason Clack 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 Barrett. I knew that if the Cowboys make the playoffs, we ain't making it next year. It's like like Magic Johnson. We ain't gonna be here. You see what I'm saying? Like so, I like I I hope it doesn't happen. But if it does, I'll be right on here to tell you. Told you so. <laughs> We're bringing the clips back. All right, my guy. It's been awesome chatting with you. Everybody share, like, and subscribe. We're going to see you next week. Um, you can follow us on Unreview Podcast on all streaming platforms. I have my handle right here on Instagram. I should have put my uh, podcast handle, but we're going to do that next week. All right. All right. <laughs> New platform, still getting the kinks together. Thank you, you go boy, for tuning in and joining us and i'll see you in a few weeks my brother no doubt no doubt no doubt and I'll catch later you guys the boy podcast too got it <laughs>